Hi, I am Father Kwame, and I welcome you to this first episode of Sunday Food for Thought and Life. What have you to show for being Christian? And seriously, I ask you, what have you to show for being a Christian? We celebrate the liturgy of the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In this Mass, we have another coincidence of events that leaves us hungry for a message from God and to know what God is saying regarding our spiritual life. First, as you all know by now, the time has come for me to physically leave our beloved family of St. Charles Borromeo and to go to be priest chaplain for students, faculty, and staff of St. Mary's College of California who happen to have a dire need of the gifts that God has given to me. Secondly, we are just about to complete our pastoral plan for St. Charles Borromeo. The message of God for us today coincides with our experience of my departure. The Gospel reading today concludes with the following statement. The kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruits. Matthew chapter 21 verse 43. It is clear to us then what we will be expected to show for being Christians. They are called fruits of the kingdom of God. Kingdom fruits, or as St. Paul will put it, fruits of the Spirit. As a church, we are the people of God who must produce those fruits, those kingdom fruits. Our church's slogan even supports this understanding that we are not a place, but we are a people who love, who care, and who serve. Therefore, God may be asking us through the scriptures today to find out what we think we have to show that we are a true Christian church. I will therefore take the opportunity to encourage each and every one of you to get serious in searching the gifts God has given to you in this community and to claim that gift for yourself and your family and practice that gift in our community. You will see that God, in fact, has created you, St. Charles Borromeo, to thrive. That time is now, and my departure is the cue for you to show the Christian person, the Christian family, and the Christian church that you are. God bless you.